Skip it up and that up. The Dead or Alive Extreme series has been out for a while. It's developed by Team Ninja. It's published by Koei Tecmo. And what it is, is a bunch of women in bikinis playing beach sports, whether it be they're on jet skis or playing volleyball. There's boobs everywhere and you're playing a bunch of things on a beach. I have no issue with that. I have zero interest in the game. I've never played one of the games in my life. I don't really care, though, that there's a bunch of scantily clad women. The games just don't appeal to me. But this still pisses me off to the core because what's happening with Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is just fucking wrong. And it's censorship to the nth degree. Now, the game is being released on February 25th, 2016, but it's not coming to the States. And you want to know why it's not coming to the States? Because of all these social justice warriors who would cry about the game. And Koei Tecmo released an official statement on Dead or Alive's official Facebook page. Now, someone asked a question on the official Facebook page saying, will Dead or Alive Extreme 3 come to U.S. and EU regions? And they responded back by saying, we do not bring DOA X3 to the West and won't have any plan change in the future. Thank you for asking. And someone on the Facebook page said, I'm looking at it right here. All right, well, what's the reasoning for not bringing it out in the West? And Dead or Alive Game, the official page, responded back by saying, do you know how many issue happening in video game industry with regard to how to treat female in video game industry? We do not want to talk those things here, but certainly we have gone through it in last year or two to come to our decision. Thank you. The broken English is actually coming right from the page. I'm, it's not me slipping up, I swear. Now, first and foremost, before anyone thinks that I was looking to get this game to fap to, I don't give a shit about the Dead or Alive Extreme series. I don't care about the game in and of itself. But what bothers me is this is still censorship. Okay, why aren't you giving people the option to buy this game because of the Anita Sarkeesians out there because of the Zoe fucking Quinns and all of the extremist feminists out there because of all that bullshit. So you're taking away the option to see women playing a game like beach volleyball in a bikini in Dead or Alive Extreme 3. What is next? Are you going to stop like swimsuit calendars? What, are you going to stop models from modeling in, in bras and panties? Look, if you don't like the game and you don't like what it's about, don't buy it. Don't just take away the option for people to look at it or to buy the game. Like, what's next? Are you going to say that any kind of woman who shows any kind of skin is demeaning herself? Like, even if they're just wearing a tank top? Is every female in the States going to have to walk around in a fucking nun's outfit to not be quote-unquote demeaning herself or objectifying herself? What the fuck is going on, man? Everyone's so offended by everything. Everyone's looking for things to be offended by. And what's happening because everyone's looking to, to, to be so politically correct is it's causing censorship. Do you realize that? Do you realize because everyone's looking to not in any way, shape, or form be offensive, they're just saying, hey, let's not bring out the game. Let's just not do it. Let's not even attempt it. Now, again, I don't give a shit about Dead or Alive Extreme. I wouldn't buy the game if it was released in the States anyway. But it just bothers the shit out of me that the game is just not even coming here. It's just not even coming here because they don't want to deal with the bullshit. It's unreal, man. It's, hey, if, some, if a small group of people might be offended, let's just censor something. Let's not even attempt it now. What the problem is, is because of the internet, look, I love the internet, I always say that, because I and I always give that defensive standpoint, because if it wasn't for the internet, I wouldn't be here right now. But it's because of the internet, you know what? People are guilty until proven innocent. And even if they are proven innocent, they're still deemed guilty because people on the internet, the social justice warriors, the bullshit jury of the internet, pronounce them guilty. It's a joke, man. You have people walking around with virtual pitchforks and tar ready to lynch anybody. And it's scary because it just seems like it's getting worse and worse 
and worse. And you know what? If the game did offend you, if you were offended by it, let it be released here and talk with your money. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. And kids can't buy the game because Dead or Alive Extreme 2 was rated M by the ESRB. You want to tell fucking adults what they can do with their money now? And you know what's funny too? I know what the lame excuse will be. Well, parents may buy it for their kids. Well, those parents are fucking idiots. They're idiots. Everyone else should suffer because a couple people don't know how to be fucking parents? What are we, the thought police now? Well, you know what? There's a group of people out there that suck at parenting their kids, so I guess we have to let no one be able to get the game. That's a brilliant fucking idea. Look, I have no idea what the solution to this is because this social justice warrior bullshit seems to get worse and worse every year. And I'm not just talking about feminists. I'm talking about everyone just seems to be looking to be offended by something. And what scares me is is what's happening because of that is that companies and groups of people are coming becoming the thought police. They don't want to, people don't have the right now to go out and buy this game. It's not like it's like they're trying to make a, a porn. Okay, I understand. You know, you got woman and tits and ass and everything, all that. But it's it's just. It's a game, and it's rated M. It's for adults. And you're just saying, no, we don't want to even give people the option. We are telling people that you can't buy this game in the States. We're not letting it. We're thinking for you because we don't like what choice you may make. If that doesn't scare the shit out of you, I don't know what will.